Good morning. Today, we are going to learn how to create with GM Saphir a model for a 3D thermal analysis. And here we see with Diamond the result that we want to achieve. It's a volume that more or less has the shape of a tent here with an extension. And we see that the tent will be meshed with an unstructured mesh based on tetrahedron, whereas the extension here will be meshed with a structured mesh. So this is the result. We now go into GM Saphir. And in order to save time, I have already introduced seven points. You see five of them here are on the same plane because they are on the floor. Their coordinate Z is equal to zero. And I have two other points here. I have also created the lines from point to point. We already know how to do that. And we see that these lines create three triangles. We have the floor made of five lines. And then we have also two surfaces, one here, which is bounded by four lines, but they are not in the same plane. And the same holds for these four lines, which create another surface. So we have to create in the model the surfaces. So we come into Add, Elementary Entities, Add. And first, we will add plane surfaces. For example, with three lines that form a triangle, we can create one surface. I type E, I have one surface. Here is another triangle. I can create another plane surface, E. Here is another triangle. And also for the five lines, which are on the floor and thus are in the same plane, I can use the same command, plane surface. Now Q, because for these surfaces, which are not in the plane, I will use surface filling. So I select this line, this one, this one, and this one, E and also this one, this one, this one, and this one, E. So I have all surfaces which bound the future volume, but I have to create the volume, so add volume. I have to select one of the boundaries. I take any of these, and the software knows it has to take all of them to create the volume, so E and the volume is here. Now I want to create the extension and I will use the command extrude translate. So I will extrude with an increment or, or uh, size of 0 decimal 5 in the negative direction x, 0 in the y and z direction. I will extrude the mesh and I think recombine. If I don't think recombine, the volume that I will extrude will be meshed by tetrahedron, and that will be an unstructured mesh. If I want to have a structured mesh, I think here recombine, and I will use five mesh layers. What should I select? I, should, I select the surface here, and because the surface has been selected, the lines that make the surface are selected and the points that make the lines are also selected. I can type E and I see the new volume being created. The volume is here with its own surfaces. So I'm quite close to the end. I have to add material. So this is into selecting physical group, add volume. I give a name, tent, for example. I select that one and that one, OK. And E to end the selection. Now I first have to add a material, OK? So it's a mat new material definition, but I have already created two materials previous previously. Material one is uh, insulation with thermal conductivity 400, it's quite high. So I can now go into volume material. And for this physical group, I will use the material one, for example. Add update. 
and I check that the material has been allocated by view material. Okay, I have material one on both. Material two is from a previous example. I don't use it here. So finally, what should I do is to add the boundary. So again, physical group, add surface. The name will be exposed, for example. I select this surface and this one, E, and I add a frontier constraint with the curve F ISO, okay. Add update. So I check that I really added the right frontiers. They are here, right? So I think everything is ready. I check quickly my parameters. Okay, I will compute only during two minutes to save some time. Okay, I use the diagonalization of the matrix. No comeback. Uh, the name of the input file is thermal3d.in. I mean, a thermal 3D problem. I think everything is fine. I have to mesh now, of course, mesh, and I mesh in 3D. And here is the mesh. You see, it's completely regular, unstructured in the tent, and it is structured here in the extension with five layers of finite elements. They are triangular in this direction in order to match the triangles of the unstructured part. And you remember, I was using for the fourth coordinate of the point, the, num the value 0.2. And here I have on this line, which is one meter long, I have one, two, three, four, five elements, each of them with a length of 0.2 meters. So that's OK. I can create the input file. And if I run the case, which I did previously, here is my model. You see it's the same as we saw before with the exposed surfaces here with the FISO curve. And if I plot the temperatures, ah, here they are. Okay. And here is the result of the temperature distribution. Of course, it's an academic, academic example. I didn't check the values of the thermal properties. Thank you.